Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Today, I have something new for you. I'm going to be reading this comic book from the 1960s. The series is called Forbidden Worlds, and I'll be reading to you the cover story. Forbidden Worlds. Careful now, don't touch that bottle. Learn why in an astounding story, Jimmy and the genie. That's right, draw the cork. You don't know what you're unleashing. Here's the front cover. It all started the day dad, an oil engineer, announced that we were going to Arabia. The salary is very big, Jimmy. It'll help me get on my feet again. Arabia? But, but dad, I don't want to go all the way out there. Dad had lost a fortune speculating in oil leases, and we were really broke. I don't want to leave my pals, and besides, I... That'll be quite enough, young man. We're going. Arabia turned out to be worse than I feared. Hot, barren, and boring. Dad's work was in the desert, which meant there were no other kids around. What's there for a guy to do around here? I can't even fly this kite. Not a breeze on this blazing desert. Worse still, my mother, who was once a teacher, kept me hard at work. If two grades of coffee cost 98 cents and 73 cents, what's the mixture of a pound of 81 cent coffee? Uh, I give up, what's the answer? For amusement, I started exploring some of the many old caves in the nearby hillside. Nothing ever around here but broken pottery and stuff. Hmm, never noticed this cave before. It was gloomy inside with nothing of interest. But then I noticed a peculiarly shaped bottle with a beautiful color gleaming under the dust. Never saw such a funny looking bottle. Wonder if there's anything inside. I yanked out the cork and suddenly, what? The bluish smoke began forming a cloud at the top of the cave and then unbelievably took shape. I hear your command, O oh master, and obey. I, I'm dreaming. The strange figure yawned, stretched his arms over his head. Well, you have disturbed my slumbers for some purpose, no? What is your wish? Have you ever seen a genie before? I was, I was sure I was simply seeing things, but what was the harm of enjoying my hallucination? If you are real, how about giving me something I'd rather have than all the oil in Arabia, a hot frankfurter and a chocolate soda? Strange request, O oh master, but it shall be done. No sooner said than whoosh, gulp. And now back to my slumbers. So he has the frankfurter and soda. If you don't mind, put the cork back on as soon as I'm in. The light hurts my eyes and I'm trying to sleep. Gosh, this frankfurter tastes real. It was real, no question about it. I bolted it, drank the soda, grabbed the bottle and started racing home. Boy, just wait until I tell mom and dad, whoops, the bottle. It squirted out of my hands, began bouncing among the rocks. Oh no, it'll break for sure, and the genie will escape. Clink, clink. To my amazement, not even scratched. Maybe this isn't regular glass. Thank gosh. And that's exactly what happened. Look, I'll pull out the cork and you can see the genie for yourselves. Okay, son, what's the gag? I yanked out the cork again and nothing happened. W what's wrong? Come on out of there. You, you stop hiding. Really, Jimmy, either curb your imagination or stop playing practical jokes. I was crushed and humiliated and wondering whether I'd lost my mind. But the moment my parents left, 
So there you are. Why didn't you? You're only entitled to one wish per day. Besides, only the owner of the bottle can see me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go back to sleep. Put the cork on, please. Boy, you're the laziest genie I ever heard of. I didn't realize then how true my words were. The following day, with my next wish all picked out. You're just like all the others, a slave driver. I was created by a great wizard in olden times, and everybody kept me working so hard for so long that I positively hate work of any kind. Now, I've got to think of some way of getting out of your clutches so I can go back to sleep. Fool that I was, I thought I'd be undisturbed in the cave, but all I got were a few hundred years of rest. Stop talking and get busy. I want to see a baseball game back in the States. Can that be done? The next thing I knew, a, a flying carpet. A primitive means of transportation, but faster than an airline, I assure you. Over the capitals of Europe, we zoomed. Over the broad Atlantic. Gosh, I wish I'd brought along my camera. I'd always been a rabid giant fan, and watching them play the Dodgers was one of the things I missed most in Arabia. Here we are, the polo grounds, but, but won't they see us and wonder? Don't worry, I'll be invisible. Shall we descend? All I needed now to complete the day was some money. Sorry, you've had today's wish. However, I can give you an advance on tomorrow's wish. That way, it'll give me the day off. Just five bucks, Jeannie. That ought to be plenty for hot dogs and popcorn. I didn't realize what I'd gotten into because getting home meant using up another day's wish. And on the way, oh, have I got a stomach ache. I wish you'd get rid of it, Jeannie. I told you not to eat so much. All right, but it'll cost you another day. The instant we were home, the genie headed for his beauty rest. I'm exhausted from granting so many wishes. I'll get out of your clutches yet, young man. Never fear, you'll make a mistake and give me my chance. I wonder what he means. For the next few days, I had nothing to do but the usual boring things. However, mom's history lesson wasn't so bad. And Custer's last stand was one of the most exciting events in the annals of the West. Wouldn't it be great to actually see it? Why not see it? Could the genie take me back in time? As soon as he'd slept away his days off, by the beard of the prophet, taking you into the past is really hard work. Sailing ships, covered wagons, it's happening. So they went into the past. And suddenly there we were, witnessing that famed event. The soldiers were surrounded, outnumbered, but fighting valiantly to the very end. Can't we help them, Genie? Impossible. What has happened can never be undone. The boy wanted to see a famous battle from American history. My heart went out to those brave soldiers. Don't you want to see any more? N no, take me home. A few nights later, poor mom and dad, none of us like it here. What all of us want most is to be back in the US. Why can't that be arranged? The genie never stopped harping on how tired he was, but now I had a real job for him, producing a fortune. True, your father would go home if he were rich, but it would be too hard to explain a load of gold and jewels, and the government might not let him take it out of the country. I'll take care of this in my own way. That very same night, dad got a cablegram from the States. Great Scott, those worthless oil leases I sunk all our money into have produced. Gushers all over the place. They want me to come right back. My old pal did it. All of the investments that the father made were worthless at the beginning of the story, but the genie has made them very valuable. We started packing immediately. You mean you're taking me with you? Can't you bury me in the cave where I'll never be found again? Please. 
Nothing doing. You can be too useful to me. I wrapped the bottle carefully and put it in the trunk for the voyage home. But when we were two days out, I grew horribly seasick. The genial fixed me up in a jiffy. I hate listening to his complaints, though. It was the old refrain. I was hoping I'd have at least the voyage at rest. Oh, to be at the bottom of the sea in the bottle. I could sleep forever without any chance of being found and made to work again. No chance of that happening. Back into the trunk, lazy bones. Five days out. Well, son, any ideas what you'd like to do when you grow up? I don't know, Dad. I haven't made up my mind yet. There's no hurry. The important thing is for you to grow up a self-reliant and independent person, capable of doing things for yourself. Of course, that's very hard. Oh, I don't know, Dad. I zoomed down to my cabin, uncorked the bottle, and made my wish for the day, taking my dad's advice. Make me a self-reliant and independent person. Ha ha, I knew you'd make a mistake sooner or later. I'm free. Huh? What are you talking about? I will grant your wish, and the only way is to leave you forever. Without me, you'll have to learn to stand on your own two feet. And you will, if you never see me again. Suddenly, the genie's shape exploded before my eyes, dissolving into smoke, which whooshed back into the bottle. I'm going back into the bottle, corking it, and throwing myself overboard right to the bottom of the sea. It'll be a happy ending for both of us. No, no wait! Before I could pull myself together, holy Hannah, I've got to stop it. Clank, clank, clank. Out of the ship's corridors, it went with me in hot pursuit. Blimey, I must be going a bit daft. Clank, clank, grab it. It always managed to stay a step ahead of me. Up the stairs, it bounced onto the deck. Eee, what is it? Clank, clank, clank. It's headed for the rail. As luck would have it, Right past my parents it went. Their eyes nearly popped. Do you see what I see? M merciful heavens, it's Jimmy's bottle. Don't let it get away. Sorry. Don't let it get away. At the last moment, I made a desperate flying tackle. But too late, the genie had gotten away. Just what's going on here? It, it's the genie, he's won. I blurted the whole story out. You imagined it all, son. I guess that hot Arabian sun must have addled your pate a bit. Pate is top of your head. Not to mention reading the Arabian Nights too much. His parents don't believe him. As I said, all that happened a long while ago. I guess you would say I've grown up a self-reliant and independent person, but I sure wish I had the genie around now and then. There's just one thing I haven't told you yet. Did the genie's wish come true? Not on your life, for he'd thrown himself overboard, not realizing that the bottle, corked, was lighter than the water. He must have been awfully frustrated as he floated away from the ship, destined to reach a shore somewhere, someday, to be uncorked again. And who knows by whom? Perhaps even you, dear reader. And that's the end of the story of the genie and the boy who finally got his wish to be a self-reliant person. Anyways, if you like that story, um, let me know. You can leave a comment. You can give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll do more comic books if they are popular. Um, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.